Hey guys, it's Green Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting Green to episode 7 of the Magical Revolution and the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. I can already tell from this picture, right, that I'm looking at before I start the freaking episode, this is about to be awkward AF. Like, I'm sorry. Honest, you brought another woman home. Your wife is home. <laughs> we talked about this last week. I even talked about it on Twitter. Ma'am. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, look how magic! Oh. She gained a new friend by us. How about no? Right? You know, I'm gonna leave the room. Mm -hmm. Read the room. Read that room! Read the room! I feel like she's too sweet to do something like that. That's why. The brother. We kill him. Yes. Are you gonna hug now? Oh, thank you. But still, <laughs> we not <laughs> we gotta talk. We not gonna talk about the other elephant for now. Mm -hmm. Honest. Remember last week, you felt off on her boob, ma'am. You in a relationship with somebody else? You got a wife at home. Why you do that? You got boobs at home, ma'am. Oh my god. But okay, the fact that Yuffie is with Lainey, aka the other woman, in this situation and she forgives her, that just also tells you how much Yuffie has grown as a person. And I love that because I think if she would have went up to Lainey and just slapped her hand away, she would have gone back to where she was at the beginning of the series you know someone who was just like very much cold even though she didn't seem cold but you know the facade that you have sometimes and i think i would have been looking at her a completely different way i mean because come on it's yuffie she was a favorite girl oh my god you feel bad for her but yeah um honest brother he gonna die yes or get exiled what did it do Whatever comes first.
Well, something you're not supposed to read because it's forbidden. Ain't that funny how I always go by the honest? <laughs> We were. Okay, hold up. Wait. If she is, then how was she able to walk around in the sunlight during this? Wouldn't she burn? That's the typical vampire thing, right? Yeah, you could use it for good. They're different. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my babies are fighting, even though they're not. Oh, Want to talk about it? I mean, in a way. Uh. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. There's something else more there. There's not only that. Right? You could leave if you want to, but you want to be with her. Well, yeah. yeah we're talking about you. Of course, these two are about to have a moment. <laughs> they had sex. You want blood? Yeah, she wants blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it a letter? A letter.
Be all three of you plus Alia. <sighs> yeah, but do you have enough time to do that, ma'am? You'd be trying to prove yourself to her. Oh, the white foot to prove the white foot. Right. Small ass clubs. Tough crowd. <laughs> yeah, it's true, true. <laughs> That look like some year 3000 plot type is. Oh, what the? So, where are we going with this? It wasn't.
Let's hope this is the first step in the right direction. Okay. Love the fact that mainly this was a Yuffie focus episode. Jesus Christ, yes. To have, once again, the other woman come back into your life. And then, you know, now we find out that the girl is a fucking vampire. Jesus. <laughs> This ain't this ain't a duo love story. This a harem now. <laughs> they harem. Even though I I feel like okay, honest is not really flirting with what's her face. I would say that was mainly more of last week because of purposes. Of course, she had to do her research. You guys, I get that, but she still is all in with Yuffie. But <laughs> with. <laughs> Um, of course, Yuffie is like, I feel some type of way about this girl. She is coming in on my honest. Like, no. Step off my woman. So, yeah, I mean, I get it. She has the right to be jealous. But at the same time, she's asking her, like, okay, you're just the assistant. But you want something else more with her. And, hell, I've been saying it too. You want something more with her. Just tell her how you feel. That's all. You want to be with her, right? Honest wants to be with you. So just let it happen. Let it happen. Oh, my God. Just come on. Let it happen. You, you have a lot of flirting moments with each other. How you slept with each other again. Again. How many times are you... <laughs> oh. <laughs> How many times are you two going to sleep together? <laughs> be like, you know what? You want to get married? <laughs> and by a baby, you are already married. You're already wives. So come on, you just need rings. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, no, no. When Honest gave Yuffie the sword, her sword, that was it. That was the symbol of their love. The, the, um, the, the decoration. Oh, I, I can't say the word. <laughs> The agreement of their marriage right there and there. Boom. Wives. Yes. <laughs> but I am glad that they're able to keep the materials of the dragon. Because, yeah, like, my biggest thing is once we found out about the letter in Ish, I I'm like, do you really want to give this up? Like, you're, you know you're going to use it for a whole bunch of stuff. Excuse me. Um, so what are you going to do to make all these, like, men in high society for this to be like, okay, let's turn away from this. <laughs> like, you know what? We're going to make a somewhat of a plain rocket s thing with the dragon materials. That's okay, boys. Right? Right? Yes. Yes. And everyone's just like.
Like, oh, they just at first, because I'm like, they're not going to be interested in, in it, number one, because, okay, yes, our lovely princess is somewhat, a, in their opinion, a mad woman, a crazy girl doing all these things that normally a princess shouldn't do. She she is the it is okay, let, let's do this in Disney standards. Okay. We have the traditional princess and now we have the modern day princess. So traditional is like Cinderella, Snow White, Aurora, um Belle. Kinda. Of. Bella's like Belle's kinda of in between. Same thing with Ariel. So I would literally say Aurora, Snow White, Cinderella That's really it. Yeah. 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 Well, fuck it. I'm putting them in there. Um, Ariel, anyone else? Like anything before between Merida, Tia, no, Mulan is in that modern day. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> Mulan ain't Trisha. <laughs> so, anyone, so from Mulan all the way to like Anna and Elsa and Frozen. Uh, nope. Moana, my bad. I keep forgetting about fucking Moana. Okay, they are all considered modern day and they do things out of the norm. Like anything that they do, most of these men in this series would consider that crazy as heck. Thinking that, okay, hold up, like this ain't something a regular princess would do. A regular princess would be over here sitting her butt down, still doing her royally duties and stuff and everything for her country. And you know, learning more about her city and the people and everything, but not going out wanting to kill freaking monsters in this every single week, wanting to learn more about magic and such. So yeah, of course she has earned the name Mad Princess. And you know, honest in a way, she takes that and she runs with it. She really doesn't care how she looks in society, but at the same time, whatever she does, it looks bad on her family. She's a freaking princess. So everyone's looking at the royal family like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, y'all got this crazy behind girl doing this crazy behind-ish. Are y'all really okay with that? Because most royal families would literally be like, okay, you kind of going to either be banished, exiled, you're going to be locked in your room, you will never see the light of day and such. But no, no. Parents are like, yes, you know, go be free, be a baby bird, go fly, gain your wings. You want to go out there and you want to be, you know, a princess that kicks butt? Go ahead and kick some butt, baby. Like, that's a proud parent moment and such. I mean, even with, like, Yuffie and how she is in high society and the things her family had to do to get into high society, anything that she does, especially with at first in the beginning of the series, her losing her engagement to her, the other woman, and such, yeah, that's a dishonor on the family. That makes her, like, her cred go down. Her reputation is down, and that sucks. And even now, she's still building it up and such. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moral of the story, you know, make sure you don't do shit that fucks you up in the end. Mm -hmm. That rotation, big, 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 big. Yes, yes. <laughs> But yay, they get to keep the jag material. That's all I care about. They're okay. And, and you know, yes, Anna's got some moments of flirting with her wife. The wife. Yes. You don't need to go and fill up on somebody else's titty to cop a fail. You got titty right there. I'm just saying. <laughs> your wife. <laughs> Ma'am, once again, your wife. Please. And thank you. You're good. Go to your wife. Flirt with your wife. Be with your wife. Don't go to the other woman. Your wife. Your other woman likes your maid. So, we're good. The end. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 7 of the Magical Revolution. <laughs> But the magical <laughs> revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Wednesday for episode 8. Bye, guys.